hearty good morning to fellow early risers here in these Landis home community. Every public institution has things it likes to be known for, something for which it exists. For what is Landis home known? What do we have that few other retirement homes have? Now, I need to be careful not to dip into pride, which, as the saying goes, goes before the fall. Arg arguably, I will argue that um, Landis, that the Landisville, the Landis Nature Preserve is one of our best distinctive qualities. Our, uh, one name associated prominently with our nature preserve is Don Ziegler. So I, a relatively newcomer, knew he had many answers to many questions, including what did it take to make a weedy swamp complete with catcalls into a nature preserve? Or how many ducks call Landis home their home? Or how many attended uh, birdhouses are scattered on this 100-acre campus? Not how many, uh, note how many sunset maple trees we now have in full bloom. But regrettably, I found Don in Colorado playing with his grandchildren, so I proceeded on my own. I begin by asking, what is the place of our class nature preserve in the Landis Homes mission? Our tagline, as you know, is enriching lives together. You see it everywhere. Many Landis Homes ha vehicles have it imprinted on their exterior. For many of us, the beauty of the autumn bloom is associated with needing to rake the spent leaves in fall. Here in Landis, even that is done for us. In fact, I enjoy having glass between me and that fleet of modern equipment which comes to mow our lawn one more time this year. Watching these professionals with modern equipment even adds to the puts. If only they, were, they weren't so loud. When we add our list of blessings together, we must uh, also include gratitude for living here in these United States. Where would we rather be, even with the noise of the election season now upon us? Even that becomes bearable when we remind ourselves that life here, what life would be here, living where there, where there are no elections. Oh, I know American history has some dark days and deeds in it. The woman in yellow speaking at the uh, inaugural, I think it was one of the Bushes, um, had that beautiful phrase, America is not broken, it is just unfinished. And so we struggle through this election season. Within the broader United States, where better than here in Pennsylvania? Our favorite spot is what we like to think of as the garden spot of the world. I am not a native Pennsylvanian, but I have been glad to call it my home for some 65 years. After living most of these years on the Akron Hill, now I am happy to occupy a ground level one bedroom apartment in Harvest View. That's the place for me. 
But how does all this nature goodness enrich me with my daily drug routine, with my calendar filled with doctor appointments, with my loneliness, with my physical and mental decline? Yes, it's true. These elder years are not for sissies. And some of you, I know, are carrying some very heavy burdens. Even the future does not look better for many. Which brings us back to our class, uh, Nature Preserve, and its role in enriching our lives. Here is an idea. The land side of the pool has a comfortable bench and a glider of sorts waiting to be occupied, to be used. Better yet, those who are able might want to bring their own chair for a session at the side of the pool. Make yourselves comfortable. On your walk, stop to visit with the ducks. Note how the ducks interact with each other and the more beautiful geese. Turn your mind on neutral. Purge the negative thoughts that have, uh, have been torturing you. Those who are of a religious orientation can call themselves to a spirit of silent prayer. Prayer is a wonderful escape from everyday realities. Perhaps you want to arm yourself in advance with some prayer guides. I know, easier said than done, yet it works. I do not know why God has arranged it so that some of our hardest times are in these senior years. We must never forget that God is at our side in these hard times. Allow me to lead off that session at the side of the pool with a few ideas. In, in, one, in this case, uh, with a few things that, we had, that I had memorized in my youth. My mother was a great proponent of memorization. She insisted that we learn whole psalms and Bible verses. And um, now they are useful to me. So uh, at unexpected times, things come back to me that I had memorized in my, in my childhood. In my high school speech class, I was required to uh, not only read, but actually memorize that classic trees by Joyce Kilmore. You may remember it as well. It came to me for use on this occasion. Recite it with me if you can remember it. This is Joyce Kilmer with his little poem on trees. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. This is a, a poet speaking now. He sees the tree as being even more beautiful than the, and the most beautiful poet ever written. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A, pre, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who, in, who intimately lives with rain. Poets are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. The Bible is filled with timeless quotations that help bring balance to our lives. 
It includes some comforting phrases like, do not let your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. The Psalms are a treasure trove of colorful metaphors. I will review a few of my favorite favorites with you. Psalm 1. They are, in the first two verses, he's talking about uh, people who are honorable and, and live within the, 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 the disciplines of community. They are like trees planted by the streams of water which yield their fruit in its season and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. The wicked are not so. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over, uh, o- over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Again, my, my book of Psalms is uh, heavily underscored with beautiful phrases. Psalm 4, answer me when I call, O God of my right, uh, of, my, of, of my right. You have my room when I was, you gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. The Lord hears when I call to him. When we are disturbed, God is with Put your trust in the Lord. Then we go over to Psalm 8. When I look at that, I mean, this is a classic that we, we uh, must surely have brought to memory. When I look at the heavens, Psalm 8, 3. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for us? Yet you have made us a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and you have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen and all beasts of the field. Goes on. Then I'm in my Bible. I turn to to to, uh, to Psalm uh, 16. Has a has a, one of my favorite Bible verses. Those who choose another god multiply their sorrows. Their drink. Um, no. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. That verse is so key, I shall repeat it. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly image. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy in your right hand and pleasures forevermore. Much of my inspiration comes from... uh, the Bible, but there are other forms of inspiration that are out there as well that speak to us. One came to me just a few weeks ago. Again, I found it in Google. Google, what would we do without Google? And very simply, just one line, a thought that you can spend hours with First, it begins with just this reminder. Everything breaks. And it's true. Marriages break up. Uh, Cars break down. Uh, 
dishes we have break. Something happens. They get broken. Everything breaks. And then it adds, that is how the light gets in. And that has been so true in my life. I know my hardest times my, have, have been followed by good times, by the light breaking through where the cracks had been. So take that with you to your nature preserve meditation. I will repeat it. Everything breaks. That is how the light gets in. Put that on your next nature preserve agenda. Look for those times when something appeared to be hopelessly broken. Then unexpectedly, suddenly, the light breaks through the cracks that had been formed by the breaking. I believe God is in such moments of light. Our nature preserve is a part, I would even say it is an important part, of enriching life together here at Landis Communities. Join me in a short prayer. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Our hearts are filled with um, praise as we behold the beauty and wonder of your creation. The little sparrow and the larger eagle that fly over our little campus and keep watch over us from day to day privilege of sharing these concluding years, enriching our lives together here at Landis Homes. I ask myself often, well, who are we? What is man that you, a great God, are mindful of us? We are also mindful that life is hard for many and we pray your special presence with them this day. This goes even across the, the world to places like Ukraine. Think of people there who wake up every morning to a continuing war going on right under their feet. Think of living and living in Israel or in Palestine, in one of the Palestinian lands. Our life is so hard and you are there. We are also mindful of the national elections that are soon to be upon us. Our simple prayer, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For thine is the glory, the honor forever and ever. Amen.